Hi hey guys, um, so good afternoon. Thank you for spending time with us. Um, we would like to, first of all, we would like to welcome a few good of our friends, few faces that we actually are uh, familiar of. And um, again, we are here to actually celebrate and do our media launch for safe spaces here in Cebu. So <clears throat> to further explain or to welcome us in this Great event. Um, I would like to call out or introduce to you guys Jan Estrada, the head of um, School of Great event. Hello, hi uh, guys. So, um, of course, um, Love Yourself uh, as an organization here in Cebu has always been uh, promoting, um, you know, safe spaces. Uh, um, and safe spaces meaning um, uh, a place where Anybody can be themselves, mm -hmm. and that's and that you know that's the reason why we have our community center, which is the Love Yourself White House, and we want to also um, um, expand that uh, by introducing safe spaces um, to to the public. Um, safe spaces, of course, and Robin, who is our program officer, will uh, tell you more about that. It's really um, you know. Uh, a program to help people uh, protect themselves and therefore when you are able to protect yourself then you can you know uh, really be yourself diba? Uh, without any uh, hesitation or any fear right so as our part of our thrust to to help with HIV awareness and also to help with uh, the prevention of uh, the spread of HIV uh, together with BOH, uh, uh, we and all our partners, we would like to introduce safe spaces now here in Cebu, uh, so that people will have more uh, people will have uh, access to to condoms, uh, which is you know a very good way to um, prevent the spread of HIV. Uh, and with that, uh, I would like to introduce everybody to. Um, um, our partner from BOH, uh, our uh, regional coordinator, Dr. Van Philip Bata. Afternoon to everyone. So again, uh, we have the Department of Health, our regional director, Hi, Ms. Fernandez. I would like to extend our congratulations to Love Yourself Cebu. Uh, I've heard that the uh, safe space is already operational in Manila, and we're very happy that it is brought here in Cebu so that as mentioned by John, um, people, more people can have access to condoms, so not just those that are getting it from our regular health centers, but also to other facilities as well. So again, I'll, pre I'll present to you the situation here for Cebu. Uh, this is the 2018 data since this is the year that we are actually completed the regular data, uh, a little bit of 2019. So if you look at that, you know, um, we have been an increasing trend for HIV. So initially in 2009, we had two, two infections per day. So roughly I need 12 hours, you have one infection, but move forward to 2018, we have more infection per hour. It's more than one new infection per hour, and it still is the fact of 2019. No? So 35 new infections per day is more than one infection per, no, per hour. So that's, that's, that's alarming. And if you look at also our diagnosis per year, it, uh, you will see that it also is increasing. But the increasing cases to diagnosis is actually also a good thing. Why? Because we are now knowing who they are, they also know their status, and it's easier for us to link them to treatment, which is life saving also. So for those that are already positive, they also have an option, or they have actually the chance to live a long and fulfilling life by getting to that. That's our ART. So 2018, a total of 192 new infections were reported for the whole year, and actually, medyo mas mudaghan pa niya this year. Mm -hmm. It's more than um, for 2019, we only had two months where there was less than 1,000 per month. So medyo taas-taas naman to cases. So, next is your for Cebu province no, and Cebu city in particular. So since 1984, we had already 6,153 HIV cases no, diagnosed, which is 10% of our national data. 
Um, 38% of the cases in region are inject producers. No? Uh, actually, 3% nationally is being contributed by people who inject drugs. And also, 30% are men who have sex with men. So actually, um, this is a, this is one of our target population for condoms, but it's not our only population for condoms because we also have men who have sex with men or sex with females or commonly known to as bisexuals. So, but we also have males who have sex with females or are heterosexual males. So it's not only for MSM, but it's also for those who engage in predatory sex, regardless of who their partners are. And 93% of cases in the region are males. So disproportionately higher are males because again, your males are having sex with males, your males are having sex with females, and your males are having sex with males and having sex with females. So, the ask you to talk males. And then, this actually is the sad part because more, more or less 70 or 80 percent of our cases are coming from a very young group, which is 15 to 34 years old. So, we actually have the published data, we still have to verify it, but basically it tells us that there is a, more or less 40 percent of those who are surveyed do not use condoms, and when we further ask those who do not use condoms, half of them tell us that the reason they're not using condoms is they don't have access to condoms. So which safe spaces would hopefully be answering to this particular problem with us? Because when we found out, when we asked them if, um, if when we collected our data across the across time, nakita din, nakita ko na mga when condoms are available, condom utilization also increases, regardless if it's gotten from if they got it from advocates, you get it from facilities, you get it from friends. If it's available, they will use it. So that's what Safe Spaces also tries to answer. So condom use among peewits or people who inject drugs um, is also very essential. Why? Because these peewits have female partners. Actually, 60% of them have female partners. So we want also to protect their partners from HIV. But their condom use is very low at 15%. The ideal use of condom utilization ideally is around 80%. But for PVX 15, it's lower than our MSM, which is around 20 to 24 years, 24 percent. So, kawawa talaga yung loy kaya tama While your males to male sex, while one out of them engage in sex work, you know, so sex work actually is a fact that we also have to admit that it also exists among our MSM group. Um, 90 percent of uh, more than nine out of ten of them do not use condom you know, for our close to engage in sex work. So again, it's alarming because. It creates an environment where everyone is at risk, not just the sex worker, but also the client of the sex worker. Mm -hmm. So, again, um, I think that the data or the pie graph will just tell you what uh, Region 7 is contributing to the national epidemic. No? So, we are the yellow one, so we are 9%. Uh, majority is uh, diagnosed in NCR. But then again, if you look at the first three, most uh, highest case of, of HIV in the country, it's NCR3 and 4A. They are just neighbors. So it's a shared epidemic among this region, but if you look at Region 7, which is the fourth, it's the first region or the highest region outside of Luzon to have a high yes. HIV case. So it's purely our epidemic. Gonna say na in Manila, in Davao, it's purely a local transmission epidemic. So mm -hmm. I think that's something that we also have to do. So um, our program to prevent HIV and to help those who are living with HIV is to um, what also is being offered here at uh, Love Yourself White House is a free HIV testing, which is uh, free from judgment and is also voluntary. And then we also provide condoms. So condoms is for free for anyone who wants it. Mm -hmm. And however limited the government for your condom, it's purely given to our, primarily given to our public facilities, our HUs, hospitals. But hopefully, safe spaces can actually increase our facilities that can provide and be uh, sources for free condoms. And also, we also have peer educations or peer educators to do outreach. These are based in our local government, uh, local government facilities. We have actually PNAP. Uh, if you don't know what PNAP is, this is the umbrella group that is national in nature that has a representation of all government agencies um, that have an impact on HIV, NEPED, NHL, ESDA, you have also your um, uh, National Youth Commission, among others, and it creates policies and guidelines among members. Those who have non-government organization representative. 
And our theme for this year for World AIDS Day is communities. Uh, the communities make a difference. So actually, mm -hmm. this is also one of our um, strategies now to engage more community-led organizations to be drivers for strategies. No? So that's why empowerment of community is also very essential. That we have community centers and augmentation of resources to our existing facilities and, of course, your mail condoms that we distribute. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, uh, we actually try to make condoms, but lucky I'm not going to the decision for the condom because it's quite cumbersome to put on as compared to the condoms. That's why mas halinung yung to make condom compared to the condom. So I think that's an update for the uh, HMM program. So bottom line again, no, is we are increasing trend, but the increasing trend is also a younger trend. And mm -hmm. one of the reasons for that is low condom decision because of or less facilities offering free condoms to our people who want to have condoms. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ryan. And I just want to also uh, uh, get back on uh, what Dr. Ryan said that, you know, the, the people who need to use the condoms are not being uh, reach because of um, some reasons. And most of sometimes the reasons, or most of the time the reasons why people who are ages 15 to 34 are not using condoms because they don't have access. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it could be because um, uh, it's not avail readily available or if, if it's available because of course you can just buy condoms anywhere. But still, uh, when you go to a um, drugstore or a facility or convenience store and you buy a condom, of course, mm -hmm. people look at you yeah. right so i mean there is still that judgment and that's basically why the safe space program uh, has been created so that you can just go to an establishment that not that is not necessarily connected to hiv or a condom um it could be a coffee shop or a restaurant you just go there and then you get a condom and then that's it nobody will know that you got free condoms and i think that's one way for us to encourage the use of Condoms. Because again, um, with in, with the data that has been presented, um, a ninety-two percent of those that uh, uh, reported that they have not used a condoms at least once. Yes. You know, with HIV, you don't need multiple could be one uh, yeah encounters. It mm -hmm. it could just be just that one time that you did not use a condom, and that's you know when you uh, get infected by the the yes. With that, um, I would like to introduce uh, Robin, uh, who is our uh, queen of safe spaces, uh, our mother for safe spaces. Okay, so, um, hi guys. So, um, as far as the safe spaces, so we're actually activated in Metro Manila way back 2017. It was launched together with the Love Gala, which is our fundraising for the lovers of um, community. Now, as far as the so safe space is actually a delivery system, which is that we utilize the access to phone. So it can the app can be downloaded on Google Play and the Apple Store. Apple, Apple Store. So it is an actually a good um, way in terms of if you see that app itself it is self-explanatory. You don't need to register. So it it protects um, private. It, it provides privacy mm -hmm. as well as it gives easy access. Now. As far as launching it here in Cebu, so we had a soft launch already way back in October with NFT. NFT has been a partner of Six Cases mm -hmm. in Metro Manila, and it gives us. Um, we're we're very proud that they all extended their their part our partnership with us here in Cebu. So again, um, the purpose of the app itself is to make sure that um, key population has access. To condoms, on given that we able we are able to provide them with the location. So currently mm -hmm. we have, um, as I mentioned earlier, the four of um, the four branches here in Cebu and the fitness. As as we already have the gallery, yeah. which is mm -hmm. in Mabolo, and we're looking forward on on board me, few other establishments, business local businesses here in Cebu, such as coffee shops, hostels, or 
even organizations, as long as they are physical locations, they can be partnered with SimSwings. Again, um, as for the the current update now, we only um, we are starting small, but hopefully we will be able to expand in the coming year, which is in 2020. So, as a sample of the um, in terms of partnerships, so in the business with our business partners. This is the sample of what we call uh, the condiment box. The condiment and condom box. So it's a combination of um, com condom and lubricant. So usually this is being placed on the front desk, if they have a front desk. Mm -hmm. Or in the situation that we have with the gallery, they put it in the male and female CR. So again, mm -hmm. we don't just provide this to the male, also to the female. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Because again, it's, uh, you know, it's to tango. Correct. As well as, um, we're looking forward also to updating the design when, when hopefully we could. Uh, in Manila, they had a dispenser, however, in terms of cost efficiency, it's quite difficult for us to uh, do that. Um, but however, with the condoms, we are in partnership with the Department of Health, as well as with the Health Foundation. So again, uh, we need to make sure that there's ample supply. Also, that we also are what we are doing here in Safe Space is that in 2020, we're looking forward to including uh, identifying gender neutral backgrounds for our for those who identify themselves as either male or female, typically, and they want um, again a safe space where they can use the bathroom at the same time, have access to protection. And okay. So current barriers that we have right now that we have for safe space is actually what we have in Metro Manila. It's actually happening here in Cebu also is that the type of venue where the funds are available. Specifically here in Cebu, um, it's quite hard because of, again, we are actually a very, well, religious, um, yeah, conservative, religious, religious what, what you call it. So it's really hard. Um, another, um, like, very confident, um, you know, I have spoken with business um, establishment that I try to work with, and usually these are family businesses, uh, family owned and run businesses. They will tell me that, uh, I mean, again, it's talking about values, and I think, um, though, even though we are addressing the, uh, what you call this, uh, you know, the access to quantum, sometimes it's still on, you know, what the values of, you know, because we can, of course, you know, a partner to, you know, to adjust their values in order for accommodating us. But what we want is that, that's what we're doing in media launch now, is to make sure that partners who are, have the same similar advocacy as we have, and not just on HIV, but also for STD as well as for, you know. Again, um, another thing that we also need to clarify is that we are not promoting premarital sex or extramarital <laughs> sex. <laughs> so what we hear is that people are doing it, if they're doing it, at least they're doing it safe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So lack of supplies, well, the lack of supplies is actually um, in terms of, since that we are dependent on supplies that we have from UH or AHF, so it's actually um, something that, but again, we, we're looking forward to making sure that there is a continuous supply, so it's a work in progress, and yeah. hopefully 2020, it's a good process. So, like, we can have a projection, like, for example, if we only have, like, at least 10 partners in, hopefully in Metro Cebu, as far as, as far as city in Metro Cebu, we have a lot. Bibogo, Silver. Most of the Mandawe na Pulapu. Yes, Talisa. We hopefully were able to get this. And also public awareness. So it's, that's why we're also doing the video launch in order. And we're live on Facebook. So at least um, those who were able to see the very much see it. And we're also appreciative of our local bloggers here that they they're actually trying to you know share the awareness again this is not just a gay thing this is not just lgbt issue hiv is a human issue that we have now where to find condoms so it's actually it's more of it's similar with the venues that we have however uh, again um, what we want is that for those who are interested they can uh, again contact me as the program officer or they come here in White House, which is the first safe space 
here in Cebu since that you know it is a knock yourself initiative that we're doing what we're doing. Okay, so currently um, what Jack said right now is that um, the, we're looking for safe spaces. As far as the map of supply is concerned, it's a seamless supply, meaning that we need to make sure that there is ample supply. Um, and because the, the app has no use if, you, yeah. if there's no sure. supply in terms of whenever they visit, <laughs> as well as the public awareness. So they were able, they were able to you know target the key population where it, to whom the program is um, designed that they designed or the mar target market, and as well as yeah, including of staff reserve. It means that we're able to make sure that it's a smooth transition from the supply to our partner and to the consumer, which is our target market. So it's actually um, it's something that we need to look forward to in 2020. So currently, so again, let's say so that an innovative and condom distribution model, condom and loops to be exact model. So it's actually um, something that we have that we encourage everyone to download the app and making sure that they're able. So currently we have the yes that's the app so currently um hmm. yeah, okay yeah. We, yeah, but yeah yeah the we currently have we currently have right now six sites six safe spaces hubs which is love yourself white house the four branches of and fitness as well as the gallery okay so those are our uh, current and we're looking forward um af hopefully after this media launch will be able to get more partners, uh, especially for um, we're open on um, organizations, business establishments, conglomerates, Jolly B, Coffee and TV, dropping names. So it's we're looking forward that you know as if they have to share the same advocacy as uh, with us, then we're open as well as um, again because. One concern that actually it was raised to me is that um, I will not drop the business, the the mm -hmm. business establishment who, who got concerned mm -hmm. that we might be encouraging sex in their bathroom or in their restroom. The <laughs> point there is that <laughs> as if people are not doing there. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what we wanted to address in this um uh, what you call this in this launch is that again we are only providing access i mean whatever they do however they do it wherever they do it at least it's i mean again it's part of it that's why it's easier for us if we could have you know similar partners that we have that have this share the same advocacy to us because in terms of if you're going to be considering you know especially those um like um conservative chinese run businesses it's pretty hard for them to accept the situation the, what they call this this type of um, you know service delivery model okay so actually that's it and we're open for questions from our reactions yes guys if you guys have any questions or whatever but before anything else um i encouraging everyone here to follow our us on our social media platform safe spaces ph is on Facebook, yes. is it? It's only on Facebook. Facebook, Facebook, Twitter. Facebook, Twitter. Okay. Facebook and Twitter. Um, Love Yourself, White House is on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Yes. And Spend and Swallow is also on. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. We do have a podcast here, so yes. Spend and Swallow yeah. podcast. Mm -hmm. Please do follow us on our social yeah. media pages, Facebook, just, Instagram, and Twitter. Yeah. 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 And hopefully you can actually um, invite more people on inviting our pages so that more foreign members and <laughs> events and um, more media launches in the future you'll be able to be kind of aware of. And we can invite you guys again. So any questions, To you can ask Jan, si Doc, or si Robin. I have a question for Doc. Yes. Um, so aside from uh, providing condoms and loops for safe spaces, what are other support that you provide to uh, safe spaces, for instance? I think for safe spaces, for condoms and loops to get a safe happen because of um, uh, what we're seeing is that, and what data is also telling us, that when condoms are available, people will use condoms. Yes. So regardless if they have someone getting to use it or 
um, they have an idea on what condoms protect you from. If they have condoms, they ask questions and they will just search for it. And actually, the packet also has instruction. If you don't know how to put it on, <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a sample. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the box? Yeah. What are what are the government or DOH is? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what DOH is? Is committing to is that the supply of condoms? Swatch, swatch. You're just having a different friend. You're just having a different friend. Okay, we're going to support not just to save faces, but to tell why White House is where we can provide them with training if they ask for us for it. Aside from that, yes, also the best kids are providing for you to. Um, safe space uh, for the Kailua White House, so that's also a commitment from government. So we are seeing a lot of movement. Um, the motto for this year, so the, the, the motto for this year is what well, for the state of the is communities make a difference. So it's, I think it's very essential to remember that this is not just government's work, but it's mm -hmm. everyone's work. Yes. Mm -hmm. HIV is not a gay thing, yeah. but it's a human thing. Yes. Thank you. Questions? Um, I think I can suggest that if you can reach out to Mira, say they have three branches. Yeah, yeah. Mira's. Yeah, Mira's is a hostel. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hostel, uh, yeah. They have one in Kasambagan. Yeah, they, they, already have, they, have four. they already have in Napolaco, I guess. Oh, yeah. And there's it's a like sleep grand. box in yes. there. Mm -hmm. It's like also with, uh, yeah, the uh, hostels like, um, we also have somewhere. Here in Malco and also on Manpeter. Yes, yeah. we are currently working, working in that. Okay. With the, it's more of just uh, trying to figure out, you know, how to. Because again, we also wanted to clarify that we are also flexible. That you mm -hmm. know, if they don't want this big, um, <laughs> you know, their, then we we do adjust. Like if they want it's just cute. like a smaller <laughs> thing, yeah, yeah. Yeah. smaller. You know, <laughs> but actually, that's the sound. That's cute. Yeah, it's really cute. Like yeah, for accounting purposes. Yeah, some people want that. It's just too small because you know someone will just yeah. get yeah. it and you know get the whole bus. Actually, um, <laughs> gallery adjusted. Like um, what they did is that because um, gallery, if you're familiar, it's an open um, because um, they do have the bars there. They have yeah. coffee shops mm -hmm. and they have and sure. the restaurant is open. Um, they're open until four a.m. and their apprehension is that. Mm -hmm. Um, someone will take the condom and the container with it. <laughs> so well, what they do is, what they did is that they bolted the the box. Uh, they bolted. And Amazing. the maintenance is required to check um, at least three times a day that the box is still there. <laughs> Though we have concerns that you know um, the supplies gets consumed like within a day, yeah. that's a good problem. Yeah. But, yes. but what, what we also want to address also is that we need to make sure that, that the box is there. Yeah, the box is there. <laughs> because the box it's hard for us to provide because again, <laughs> we have to make sure that um, <coughs> the, the system is used properly. Mm. And it is a uh, it reached the key population because you know it's hard for someone to just you know use all of this. Mm. I mean, not unless if you really are that sexually active that you do it. Like, yeah. Sure. But we wanted to make sure that this is being shared to um, the key population, especially for those who are having an issue with access to porn. So how do um, this is for uh, Robin? How do you ensure that there is a um, sufficient supply of mm -hmm. uh, establishments? Yes. Um, our instructions with our partners is that they need to inform us if the mm -hmm. for example for entertainment fitness, the manager need to inform us that the supply is already um, depleted again because on the app itself it shows there if the supply is good. Mm -hmm. and ah, okay, so we can update through the app. The app. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as the partners is concerned, the, the managers are direct, um, they are instructed to make sure that it is, we are updated, that they update us once they need a uh, replenishment of supplies. Or if they have suggestions. Like for example, with Gather, which is I'm appreciative of what they did, mm -hmm. that you know they are afraid of you know, losing the box. <laughs> <laughs> Which is they they're not saying that you know that you know they don't trust their the patrons that they have in in who goes to a cafe or to those restaurants in gallery, but they just wanted to make sure that you know, there's still the box mm -hmm. at the end of the day, and we're they we're able to continue the service that we provide. Okay, what else? 
Yeah. Are you planning to reach out to schools? Pero patulungan nang Catholic. Well, actually, yes. We we actually uh, already have a few contacts, and that we're we're, we're um, working with, um, so that we can provide the safe spaces. Uh, initiative or uh, distribution model to, to them. Mm -hmm. um, um, I think we have a couple of um, student organizations yes, yes, yes. or student councils yes, yes. Uh, who, who reach out to us who would want to have that in their schools. And I think that's and, and, and I think that's good because again, uh, like what Doc Van has presented to us, that you know the the cases of HIV. Um, has uh, is getting the, you know the, yeah they're getting younger um, so we need to also you know address that need and the only way for us to address that need is of course to provide um, tools which are, are means to prevent HIV uh, the spread of HIV and that is like like what we talked about earlier is our condoms yeah. Yeah. Um, and and I think that, you know with with what um, um, Robin mentioned also that again um, we would like to uh, use this opportunity um, to also not just invite the public to um, use uh, the Safe Spaces app so that they can uh, get access to free condoms, but also we would like to invite you know partner establishments um, all over Cebu to of course uh, take advantage of this because this is something that they can they can offer to their clients yeah. Yeah. as a as an add-on service or as a as a gift to their clients because at the end of the day you know their clients welfare of course um, is, is benefits them as well so um, again um, it's a joint effort it's not just the the responsibility of the government um, to help to stop the spread of HIV, it, uh, it, but it's but it's the community's responsibility as well, and that includes uh, organizations such as Love Yourself and as well as um, public and private entities, um, you know that that um, have like that corporate responsibility to help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Questions, Any more questions? Yeah, yes. one reaction. Yeah, uh, we also would like to invite everyone. Uh, again, this is a week long celebration that we have, not this celebration, week long um, awareness that we have in support of World AIDS Day. Yes. So we started it last November 23rd with the National HIV Testing with all of the sites of Love Yourself as well as um, partners. partners. Uh, and also, um, so that's November 23rd, and today the launch of um, the media launch of Safe Spaces. And on the 1st of December, which is the World AIDS Day, we have an event in Robinson's Fuente, Fuente um, Activity Center, which is like the just outside the department store. So we like to have, we have um, celebrities and we also have booths there. We also have Cine Spectrum, as well as we also have a fashion show um, featuring Hans Kukia at the Postura. And we also have um, some of our partners there. So we'd like to thank um, our partner, of course, he says, we'd like to thank the gallery, um, especially on JG Development Corporation. And then fitness, we have Camber, we also have Paul. Thank you for the stats for today. <laughs> <laughs> and we have also, of course, we have uh, we have Robinson's plan there. And also, we have the bigger uh, part of the project that we have. We have Shell Foundation, UH, Macare, and Asian Health Foundation, as well as Save the Shield and Little Miss Energy for our sponsors. And for those who still want to sponsor, Again, uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, we're able to address, again, just like, it's not just enough that we have the awareness, but we need to make sure that people actually yeah. And I also want to invite everybody this December 1, aside from our event in Robinson's Fuente, which is a fashion show, as well as a mini film showing of Cine Spectra uh, of short films, we would like to also invite everybody to come to uh, Gabriela Sports Complex for a free HIV testing, um, and that's in partnership with uh, all the different uh, organizations um, and spearheaded by the Department of Health. Um, 
And also at Ayala, if you are into after after watching the well, actually no after af, in the morning, um, you can go to Ayala morning ba tama morning diba? uh, or hapon de hapon pala. Uh, may sumba din don. And that is also for World AIDS Day uh, celebration. So. Kung gusto mo sumayo muna, uh, uh, so you go to uh, you go to Ayala, or if you want to uh, watch short films, and also if you want to uh, see a fashion show, you go to Robinson's Puente, and then after those activities, you can drop by Abelianna for a free HIV test. Uh, so para complete package. Ano na ka? Nagpa-test pa ka. So, so you know your status. Yeah. So, guys, uh, thank you everyone for coming over. Yeah. And really, yeah. for, this is, again, I like the message of Dr. Van. It's really um, um, empowering communities to really uh, support our fight against HIV. Correct. And with that, thank you guys. And hey guys. hope to see you soon this December. Yeah.